Prospect Jackie Bradley Jr. is raising eyebrows all over Red Sox camp this spring. But does not mean that he, and not Jacoby Ellsbury, should be the Red Sox opening day center fielder? So Jackie Bradley Jr., the much-talked-about outfield prospect of the Boston Red Sox, is doing a tremendous job so far in spring training. He's been an igniter, a spark plug, a lot of energy out there, and has played a dynamite center field when Ellsbury has not been on the field or when he's been in some split squad games playing separately from Ellsbury for the Red Sox. And there's been some talk with the great play of, of Bradley this spring training that the Red Sox should revisit possibly moving Jacoby Ellsbury in a trade before opening day. But I'll tell you right now, I don't agree with that assessment at all. Because if the Red Sox are going to be contenders this year, they need Jacoby Ellsbury to be a healthy and productive player for them if they hope to have any thought of contending in the AL East this season. The biggest reason is John Farrell has very few spots in his lineup where he can write in a guy's name day after day and then not have to give it a second thought. The four players that come to mind in this lineup that really matter the most that he can do that with are Pedroia, Middlebrooks, Ortiz, and of course, Jacoby Ellsbury. Now, when Farrell can just pencil those names in and then not worry about it and then go on and think about other things, it's a tremendous amount of relief for him. It makes his job as a manager easier. Now, I'd love to see Jackie Bradley Jr. play himself onto this roster this season. Perhaps you'd like to keep him as your fourth outfielder and maybe mix him in into the left and right field spots when Johnny Gomes or Daniel Nava or Shane Victorino needs a day of rest. You can get Bradley out there. But the big thing for me is I think Bradley should go back to the minor leagues and play in Pawtucket on a regular basis. He needs regular at-bats. And if he's going to be the center fielder of the future, if he's going to replace Ellsbury when Jacoby leaves, likely after the season for the big money, you need Bradley playing every day this year to make sure he really is the answer. Because if you keep him on this roster and don't play him every day, and even if you do play him every day and say right field or left field or whatever, eventually Bradley is going to have holes in his swing. He is a rookie, and no matter how good his makeup and how good his five tools might be, he's going to struggle at some point because major league pitchers are smart. They watch film, they figure out holes in guys' swings, and that inevitably leads to rookies like Bradley struggling for prolonged periods in the major leagues. Just look at Dustin Pedroia when he first came up. He was miserable in his early time in Boston. And with a guy like Ellsbury on your roster, who's a proven major leaguer, when healthy, you have to have him in the lineup. And as good as Bradley is, he's a year away. And I know the temptation is to keep him on the roster and keep him as an energy pill on the Red Sox to keep them energized. But the bottom line is, if the Red Sox are going to be good this year, they need Jacoby Ellsbury to be a big, big part of their team, regardless of where Jackie Bradley is playing. Do not trade Ellsbury. But for you guys, your thoughts on the center field uh, discussion between Jackie Bradley Jr., Jacoby Ellsbury, what would you do if you were the Red Sox? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red. And don't forget to check out my new blog at BosoxInjection.com.